I told him to stick a chocolate egg up his ass and be an Easter bunny, and he was gonna have a double chocolate egg. Ha ha ha. Hey everybody, it's me Jimbo, your current reigning all-stars queen. And I'm here to talk about my new show, Jimbo's Drag Circus, coming to a town near you across Canada. But first, I'll be playing Search My Text here on Much Music. Circus. Ooh, I'm gonna be searching my phone. The first word, circus. Oh, it's from my sister Jada Shada Hudson, the turn up queen of Toronto. She says, I need that new Jimbo's Drag Circus tracksuit when I come to Toronto. Ooh, the tracksuit? Uh, What's the story yeah. behind the tracksuit? Who made well, it? Well, Jada Shada, she, she loves my tracksuit. We have a brand, House of Jimbo, and so she has the original Cat Dirty House of Jimbo tracksuit, and I have a new Jimbo's Drag Circus tour merch um, tracksuit that I want to hook my sister up with. Ooh, okay. You guys got to take pics. Send yeah. it to us after. We will. Why did you connect with the themes of clowns and circuses? I love the themes of clowns and circus because I am a clown. I am a trained clown. I love the connection the clown has with the audience. And I love the circus because it's all about excitement. It's all about bizarre wonders. It's all about entertaining. And there's something for everyone at the circus. And other than yourself, who is your favorite clown? Other than myself, I would say my favorite clown has to be Bianca Del Rio. <laughs> search the word gagged. Ooh, I'm gonna search the word gagged. Oh, it's actually from my sister Crystal Method. She says gagged them a bit, which is actually my other sister Lux's tagline. So Crystal Method came to see my show Jimbo's Drag Circus when I was recently in LA and she said, we gagged them a bit. <laughs> <laughs> RuPaul. Oh, let's see. My text from Mama Ru comes up. It says, Dear Jimbo, my most beautiful and stunning daughter. <laughs> I love you so much. You're so talented and gorgeous. <laughs> oh, Ru. I left her on red, too. Whoops. <laughs> Canada. Oh, Canada. My home on native land. Canada. How do you spell that again? Oh, and it's... A beautiful message from my partner, Brady, actually, who is asking me, um, how are the ticket sales for my Canadian tour going? <laughs> and they're going great. So get your tickets at dragfans.com while tickets last. What do you think separates Canadian drag queens from the rest of the world? We are a big country of really fun, incredible people that are really spread out. And so I would say we are a really diverse group of queens from one coast to the next. There's not a lot of clubs or venues to perform in Canada, so we have to kind of create our own spaces and places to perform. So not only are we entertainers, but we're also sort of community builders. You wrote the song Angel for your partner. When did you first play it for him? What was I his did. reaction? I wrote the song Angel with my friend Andrew, who actually wrote the music for my show. And it's all about just falling in love. It's all about uh, that new part of a relationship where everything seems like a dream and it doesn't seem like it's real. Because it isn't, no. Because <laughs> it is. <laughs> the next word is sickening. Ooh, all right. I'm gonna type in the word sickening. Oh, it's my sister Bobo in LA. I need to have more than just drag queens as friends. When I was last in LA, I brought her a wig. She said, so good to see you, sister. That hair looks sickening. She feels like um, a punk rock Barbie. It was like a pink mohawk. Um, yeah, I like to treat my sisters when I can, so I bought her a wig. What song makes you feel sickening? Ooh, what song makes me feel sickening? Well, I'm listening to a lot of Kim Petras, um, so any of her songs get me going. Can you type in your longest ha 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 ha? <laughs> Ooh, and see what I get. The longest ha ha ha. How do you spell that? I only have three. Ha ha ha. Ooh, what was the first message that came up with it? Um, it is a message from my friend Jared when I told him to stick a chocolate egg up his ass and be an Easter bunny and he was going to have a double chocolate egg. Ha ha ha. The next word is Candy Muse. Oh, 
I was just talking with her, so I bet you it's gonna be candy, baby. Uh-oh, she's not in my phone. <laughs> just kidding, she is. <laughs> she sent me some pictures that she took of us. She's being a little photographer. It's some pictures she just had her film developed, and Candy sent me um, some cute shots of her and me. Here. Who would win in an arm wrestling match, you or Candy? Uh, definitely Candy. <laughs> I would let her win. I don't want her to beat my ass. <laughs> Who is the most famous person in your phone? Who is the most famous person in my phone? I would say maybe it is the artist and singer Jewel. She's in my phone. I could text her right now if we wanted. I would say she's the biggest star in my phone. People can expect to come to my show. They can expect to be wowed by my costumes. They can expect to laugh until they pee their pants and just leave going, what in the hell did I just watch? I need to watch it again. It's um, a lot of fun. I do a lot of improv. I wrote the music with my friend Andrew. I learned all my choreo. I designed the set with my friend Marshall. So it's a trip right up my ass, straight to my brain. That's it. That was Search My Text with Much Music, and I hope you enjoyed.